What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. He's just going to break bad. I suspected it. I mean, I didn't have concrete proof, but I did have a thought about the situation of the family that was kidnapped in California. It was unfortunate what happened to him. Let's check out this clip. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on! Four family members, including an infant, were all found dead last night in a rural area. ABC 10's Kurt Rivera is live in Merced right now with more on this tragic end. Kurt. Well, Laura, obviously the family and law enforcement had hoped that the family would be found safe and sound. Unfortunately, that was not the case. The motive of this case appears to be a disagreement over money and the suspect confirmed to be a former employee. Missing since Monday, an eight-month-old, her father, mother, and uncle from their trucking business just outside Merced. The suspect caught on video kidnapping the family in their own vehicle. The horrifying end coming Wednesday night around 5.30. It was here in a very remote location of Merced County near Dos Palos, about 30 minutes away from the family's trucking company where the bodies of the family were found. It was a farm worker who found the bodies deep in this almond orchard. The bodies were found relatively close together. What this person did was affected our world. You know, this incident, four people dead because of his evil behavior. According to our ABC Fresno affiliate, a spokesperson for the family says the suspect, Jesus Manuel Delgado, was a former employee of the family's trucking business and had a disagreement over money. I believe uh, because of this guy's history, he's had a history of uh, doing things before uh, like this uh, pertaining to money he figured was owed to him. Fears were realized tonight. A tragic end in Merced, California. Four family members kidnapped from their trucking business were found dead Wednesday night, according to the Merced County Sheriff. There was a farm, not a farm worker, it was a, a fellow under contract to uh, clean an orchard, you know, it's harvest time, and he was out there helping with the harvest and came across them. We believe full, fully that uh, our victims were deceased before we even got notified of the, the crime. The sheriff expressed his anger after the bodies were found. There's a special place in hell for this guy. I'm hoping our district attorney's office goes for the death penalty. And I'm going to tell you that right now. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. And uh, I would like to be there when that happens. Drivers, I wanted, I want you guys to tell me your thoughts on this. What do you guys think, man? I mean, it's, I mean, it's unfortunate what happened, and it's sad what happened. And my condolences is out to the family, full, sure, okay. But allegedly, this driver lost his mind and did the unthinkable. He's not the first to do the unthinkable. I mean, when it comes to money and trucking, a lot of truck drivers don't play. Don't play with their money. I mean, if the money is not right, of course, the driver is going to feel some kind of way. I did multiple episodes of drivers that's doing the unthinkable to the company owners or the company themselves because the money was messed with. Now, I know what you guys are going to say. Y'all are going to say, well, he didn't have to do this. And I talked to Shape World about this as well, and she said that the driver didn't have to kill the kid. The kid, I said, was part of a collateral damage. You know, of course, that particular driver is not going to be thinking about the situation. He's going to be thinking, obviously, whatever. Several attempts between him and the company. He tried to get his money. I guess it was unsuccessful. And then, unfortunately, he did, like I said, the unthinkable. He went, he kidnapped the, he kidnapped the family. And you would think that, you know, throughout the throughout that little duration right there, like, hey, okay, we got you, pay you, take us to the bank, whatever, whatever. But unfortunately, um, the, the family was found unalived. It was found in a rural 
uh, farmland on Wednesday. They was taken Monday, but they was found Wednesday. Uh, the eight-month-old baby was determined to have died from exposure after being left for dead. So I think, you know, I, I, I don't think. I'm, I'm not trying to think of what happened. I, it's just unfortunate what happened, you know. Unison Trucking Company has had been an ongoing dispute over money with this driver. It got pretty nasty. It got to the point that I guess no more negotiations were said. And this was over a year, drivers, a year. A year. This this particular driver been holding this grudge for a year. Some people can't believe that, you know, he went as far as he did. But, you know, he he did what he 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 did what he did, and he thought he was gonna unalive himself. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. And of course, you know, he's gonna have to pay. The consequences. Drivers, talk to me. Let me know in the con let me know in the comments below. Have you guys been through a situations like this? I know some of you have because I talked to some of you. But I mean, I I I can't imagine myself doing the unthinkable to a company that treated me wrong. I mean, I would feel some kind of way. You know, but it depends, you know, it, it was about money. No, it must have been a significant amount because I'm not, I'm sure that you drivers wouldn't go out there and, and, and put yourself in penitentiary ways over 10, 15, 20, 100, $200. I'm sure you guys would not be taking no penitentiary chances for that. You know? But maybe penitentiary chances for like thousands, maybe. I don't know. Drivers, what's your opinion? What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments below. Big G's got it locked. Boy. Want you to love me all night? Yeah, take me down. Want you to make me real wet? Yeah, swim around. Want you to take it like a G? Yeah, don't make a sound. And I want you to miss me when I'm not around. Come dive in my Secure you in your feelings now Don't start what I